Looks like the issue is fixed. Okay. That'll be my guess. So far, no issues. I see only green indicators, which is what we want. Uh, let me re. I need to update. I think the website to get the new live stream. Okay. Website, but mm -mm -mm. For hey, Sims to Rachel. Hi, hi. That's it, Captain J. <laughs> Are you feeling okay? Do you want to delay yeah. the show? Yeah, I feel fine. Okay, you feel fine. I, I sound terrible, but I feel <laughs> I feel good. You you sound like you sound like that voice changer that you had uh, last oh, episode. Oh yeah, <laughs> maybe it's on and I didn't know it. <laughs> and uh, still grabbing the live stream. Look at that. The stream is back. We're updating the one. No. Okay, tank fish. Okie dokie. Mm -hmm. Okay. Gizwiz.tv is back up. Should be. Let me just double check. Gizwiz.tv. If only, if only. I knew how to type. There you go. I see the live stream. There we go. Hey, Captain J, everybody. Hawks Post, um, we waited for you. <laughs> we did. We should be all back on all platforms. All green lights on my end. No choppiness should be. All right. Uh, 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 let me double check that my videos will pull up. Noise. Oh, my. Ooh. Oh, boy. Ah, okay. Yeah. Ooh. Okay. Ha-ha. Yeah, okay, perfect. Cool. Perfect. And then... Perfect. I want to reopen the image from the email. Just make sure I got that. Let that go downloads. Here we are. Perfect. And there we are. Perfect. Okay, chat room. Who's ready? We're only 10 minutes late. <laughs> okay. We'll talk uh, fast. Yes, exactly. Okay, so, uh, yeah, we are ready to get started. Uh, we have uh, gadgets from uh, Toy Insider Spring Fling. Toy Insider Spring Fling. Awesome. Here we go in three, two. On this episode of the Gizwiz Diggity has some gadgets from Toy Insider Spring Fling! I also have the perfect home office gadget if you are lonely about a little bit of water cooler talk. All next on the Gizwiz! It's the same old show with Dickie D and OMG chat on your PC. It's time for the Gizwiz because gadgets are his business. They've got a gizmo sickness, geek disease, under pathology, rows and rows of USBs, growing blue and yellow. Get ready for the Giz Whiz now. now! Now! And here he is, Dick D. Bartolo, with his interpretation of Chocolate Rain by Taze <laughs> Zonde, I think was the guy's name. This is an old YouTube reference. He had a very, oh, very... Oh, okay. He had a very deep voice. It was what well, he was known me. for. That's me. Uh, you know, I don't know what is... On. I, I feel fine, but it started last night on the Fizz, and it is continuing today, and... Um, I guess I'll go get some lozenges or something. <laughs> uh, someone said, do a nettle pot. Oh, a neti pot. A neti pot? A neti pot, yeah. A neti pot is uh, it's quite, almost. I, I would almost say pot. an invasive procedure if you invasive. have a cold. <laughs> the idea <laughs> is you take a pot of hot, warmish water. It's not so yeah. hot it would scald you. It's warm water filled with salt solution typically. You stick it up to your nose your nose and you, you move it in such a way that it goes in one nostril around your sinuses and out the other nostril. You have to have a technique to keep your throat closed so you don't swallow the saline solution and the water goes through. Yeah. No. 
No. No. The expensive, fancy version of that is not a neti pot, but called a nivage. Nivage. Let me see if I can find this online. Is that advertised on TV? But yes, yes. Oh, I, you know, I looked at that. It's like 80 bucks or something, isn't it's it? It's expensive, yes. It it's is. like a machine you're sticking It's almost your like a appliance. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Even though it is handheld, you know, it's not it's not actually an appliance. But here it is, the Navarre. Oh, there it is. Yeah. Oh my god, it's $110. 110 bucks. What uh and they also use the pricing method of like printers and ink because they come with these little saline pods, the Navage salt pod pop? Salt pod? I don't know. It's it looks pod, like it should be I a pod is, duh, yeah. at the end. Oh, it's all it's capitalized. Pod, I see yeah. salt pod. Yes. So you buy these pods that are specifically made with the correct ingredients and then exactly what I described also happens to you is that the water will go in one nostril out the other. I'm not sure if they'll have a little demo here. Doesn't look like they, they have it. Um, but uh, it's quite, um, a lot. there's where you put your noses, your nose, your nostrils, <laughs> Right. Okay. I should say. That's removable think... and cleanable. And uh, I, I've heard incredible things, but you got to spend a Incredible bucks. things that are good? <laughs> yes. They say that it really cleans, you know, especially if you are uh, suffering from things like allergies, especially where you might have particles in your nose that if they are cleared away would be better. Um, right. I, it has been... Uh, recommended by an actual doctor not a not a fake doctor wow. an actual doctor wow. said this yeah. is an option you could do it rinse out your nose make you feel a little bit better um but uh but yeah that's the upgraded neti pot if if you needed needed one it just sounds like your throat is, it sounds like you've been smoking cigars your whole life <laughs> god it's interesting i have i have smoked one two puffs of a cigarette because it was some sort of a sketch on television and I was a security guard and they said, you should be standing in front of the cell smoking. I said, All right. how, do you, how do I hold a cigarette? And <laughs> outside I said, well, when the camera comes on, blow, blow some smoke out. That was my entire career for you went. smoking. <sighs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yes. yes, and I'm still feeling it. And that was 40 <laughs> years ago. It's the that one that'll get you. It's the is. one that'll get you. Yeah, yeah. Don't do it, kids. I'm waiting for the deluxe version of that that also takes K cups, <laughs> so that you you can get caffeine directly into your system. That's what I need. That is what we need. I can't wait for the Starbucks <laughs> walk in. Everyone's navaging with their <laughs> their new uh, caffeine. They'll be the yes, new fad. I'm doing the pumpkin spice <laughs> pod. <laughs> Mmm, mocha, yum. Yeah. <laughs> Caramel macchiato. That's great. Um, okay, well, what do we got this week? You uh, went to uh, a... Okay, so let, it's very funny because um, I mentioned it last year. Toy Fair is normally in this time of the year. And last year, they sent out a notice that Toy Fair 2024, because they couldn't get the dates they wanted at the Javits Center, would now be in Chicago. <laughs> then, oh, they couldn't get uh, anywhere else in New York. <laughs> it was well, Javits it's, it's or a very, Chicago. Uh, yeah, it's a very, it's a very big show. But it's anyway, crazy. I'm thinking this is crazy. I know a lot of people go there. I don't think they're going to go to Chicago. Anyway, about four days later, there was another letter saying, "Ah, uh, sorry, evidently, some people higher up made this decision." without asking any of the toy manufacturers <laughs> or anybody. And consequently, it is not going to Chicago. We're just skipping 2024. Whoa! What, so what's happening is a lot of companies are getting together and having many events. And Toy Insider had Spring Fling last week. Oh. And here's, uh, we have some several gadgets. And let's take it the first. Oh, it's noisy out. here, but we're going to do it anyway. We're looking at fingerlings. Ow. 
This is one of them. Now, how do I make this feather pop up? Squeeze the sides. Squeeze the sides. Mm -hmm. oh. ah! Okay, that was that's very cute. And and yours lit up. Yes, yours will too. Uh, how do Squeeze I make the sides? Squeeze the sides. Mm -hmm. Is it turned on? Oh, I don't know. Okay, let's Fingerling. See. Uh, there now we it go. Is. Oh, it's talking to me. Yes, it's a sweet tweet. These are the new Fingerling Street Tweets that just came out last week by Wowie. And, and what do you do with them? Well, they're, first of all, they're the first per perfect Easter basket stuffer, right? They're cute. They're only $9.99 each. And again, besides their feather manes kind of popping up, <laughs> I they, love that. They, they sing cute little songs. They make little birdie sounds. If you hit them three times, they fart. One, two, what? three. <laughs> Probably, probably couldn't hear yeah. that. Well, that's okay. Was, you don't want to hear that anyway. Yeah, right. I think. If, <laughs> and uh, they can clip onto your finger. I see that. Yeah. Okay. Like you have there too. And they also talk back to you, so they'll repeat anything you say. I'm here wow. with these ways. Just ten dollars. Just ten dollars. And this one's called Lionel. This one is Debbie. And how many are there? There are just the two. The two. Okay. Yeah. And you can also record a secret message up to eight seconds and then give it to your friend and they can play it back. Wow. Now this is uh, unofficial, but I do believe that the CIA is using me. Not a hundred percent sure. Oh, I think they're great. Lionel says yes. <laughs> wow! And they're battery operated? Yes. Little cell batteries? Three little button cell batteries. Little button cell batteries. Mm -hmm. And available now. Available I think now on Amazon. on Amazon. On Amazon. I think these are so cute. <laughs> the sweet the sh tweets. Yeah, <laughs> they are for 10 bucks and they recognize you from the pulse and your finger. So when. Wow. You put it on your finger, it will greet you when it recognizes you. Yes, last year they had someone in chat, I think it was Scooter X, said they had monkeys last year. They did. And now these are the newest of the sweet tweets. I think, so it, I think it's amazingly clever for 10 bucks. I can't believe that they have a way to detect who is using them. That seems like so insane. That's what it says. It says, oh wow, we. I like how there's different uh, colors too. I feel like it allows just, the kids there's to there's have. There's just two of them. There's just yeah. Debbie and I forget the other guy's name. Uh, the, a, a girl and a boy. Yeah. That's so cute. But Sweet. They're tweets. very, very clever. I like it. I like yeah. it. Inexpensive, fun toy. That's cute. That's a cutie. Um, okay, some stuff from Toy Monster. Ooh, Toy Monster. Oh my goodness, Toy Monster. Okay, I have a friend who works here. Uh, Rachel, who is a fashion model, now got into PR. And, uh, oh! And, uh, Holy went, moly! Uh, she's doing uh, PR for Fred. That didn't go well. You know, I didn't always walk your dog, so one would love it. But, what happens? I want to give you lemon, and you make lemonade, you know? So whatever teach us what they look good. So Rachel, what do we have here? From yes, I would love to show you this amazing line that we have. So we have a line called Bugglers. And what's beauty about this is there's a combination of the word uh, funny and ugly together to make the word bug oh, Fuggler. Fuggler, okay. so it's okay. together. Um, and it's fantastic. These are the lab misfits. So I am the crazy lab scientist that went awry in the in the laboratory and made these amazing, hysterical lab misfits bugglers. But what we also have is a great collaboration with the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Oh, turtle, yeah. So okay. everybody knows... Oh, what is the price of uh, Fuggler? $7.97 for wow. the other one. Yeah, so it's under $8 all at Walmart. It's fantastic. And everybody knows the turtles love their pizza. So they're, they serve, they come served in a pizza box, which is amazing. So it's really, really fun. Kids of all ages, especially those collectors, the kid adults, the, the, the college kids, are really going bananas for all of these items. And the age? So these are also from Toy Monster, and this is called the Dino Smash and Squish. So what you want to do is you want to smash open the egg, and then these amazing little squishy dinosaurs come back together. But what you could do is then when you're done, you could put it back in, save your egg for later. And how do you break it? Just by... You can just 
you know, go really hard and, oops, I put it together too close. And you just crack it open. Oh, oh, I see, I see, okay. And so it's really great. And then this is my super fun collection. This is the color change. So what's great about these is you take them out. So I'll take them, I'll put him in the cold water and you'll see that he turned black. I'll put it back in the hot water and you'll see he turns blue. So it's really fun, not only that, but then the slime. There's great slime that kids can love, and of course you can also whoa, change the color. The, the slime is also, oh, I'm making a mess. The slime is also color change from um, the heat water and so forth. You put it in there, you put it back in the cold, and then it goes back to different colors. So it's color changing slime, color changing dinos. There's 24 different dinos that left. Those are $5. The smash and the dino smash are $9.99. So you can get in a perfect array of items for under $10. Oh, this so is this is great price point, great value of customer. Great. Uh, I like it a lot. It's all from Toy Monster. That is so funny. I have seen Toy Monster in like Walmart, and I've seen those yes. fugly toys with the teeth. <laughs> yes. Those leave an impression. You see them uh, and you think, yeah, I remember those toys. Who would ever yeah. want one? But they're, they're uh, and, and it seems this year that things are very low priced. Uh, yeah, those, holy moly. The Fugglers are eight bucks, like seven ninety seven. Uh, the uh, little dino and the egg is under ten bucks. Oh, that's... I think this is so so funny. You the, got little Leonardo <laughs> and his teeth right there, his ugly little nose. That is so funny. I think and if you need a spare tooth, you know you're not going to get a tooth from your dentist. <laughs> you get six of them for seven ninety four. When your kids ask, "What does the tooth fairy do?" you can say, "Ah, oh, <laughs> a part time job at Toy Monster." Um, I've seen them around, definitely. I see. The thing is, is, is this a gag gift <laughs> or is this a real gift? Are people really going to want the Fuggler? Uh, I have no idea. Uh, I, my guess is if adults don't like it, kids are definitely going to want it. I guess. True. Yeah. It's and just it sort little... of comes in a pizza box, it looks like. I think that is honestly amazing. I mean, to get, that is the perfect branding for Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. <laughs> that is probably the best part of the whole toy. Um, that's just so funny. Is any, oh, did, that's very clever how they uh, you see who's in the box by the check mark. That, yes. That's so clever. <laughs> <laughs> I love them. I love them, but I just don't know if kids will love them. I don't know if it's going to... If it, Is this something? Chat. I need to know the chat. Who wants oh, to buy okay. one oh, of these? Captain either for J yourself one. or for a friend. For you know, family member, a gift. I think the Fingerlings was getting a, a lot of people saying, oh, this is cute. Dan said, if you don't floss, <laughs> you could threaten your kids with it. There you go. You it is definitely a different vibe teeth. than the fingerlings, which were cute. And this is, yes. look what happens when you don't floss. Sims to so Rachel funny. said, my nephew would probably like it. You know what happens when you don't floss, kids. <laughs> there you go. That's, that's right. That's $8 well spent. Just a fear factor alone. That was perfect. That's very funny. Yeah. Uh those are great. I didn't even know the monster toy made it. I knew of the fug, the fugly toy, but I had not seen anything else from them. So it's uh, yeah, kind of cool I think to they see have, that they have a, a nice line. Br branch, branching out, exactly. Yeah, exactly. I like it. And then we have two more gadgets and with a spokesperson who's not quite sure about certain things, which I'll try and clear up. Uh, here oh, we are. Oh boy, Sonic Chargers! What are they? Well, the man just got a So these are flying planes. These are Sonic Chargers, and they're super durable. I mean, you could do anything to them. Look at that. Um, it's really cool because they have different tabs on here, so the direction you want it to fly. Um, you can push it up, you can push it down. Um, and they have three modes. So if you press this little button on the back here, you press it once, and that's going to fly for 15 seconds. Is there a little motor in here? Yeah. So oh, goes... here. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> okay. Twice, it goes for 30 seconds, and then three times, it goes forever, but we don't recommend that because I can probably lose it. Um, and it was yeah, going it's really go. cool. Um, 
so much fun in the summer with kids and everything like that. So. And what's that going to retail for? Nineteen ninety nine. Okay. And is it a battery or a this charger? Battery. So here's the charger. So what you would do with the charger is it has three AAA batteries in here. You're going to stick the charger in here. Oh, the batteries stay in the... In oh, here, okay, yeah. that's good. And then you're going to press the button on. So that red light means it's charging. Once it turns green, that means it's fully charged. And how much light time? So 30 seconds to charge and it flies for a few hours. A few hours? I think so. What? Okay. If it's what? windy. If yeah, yeah, if it's windy. Okay. And then you have something else. Correct. So, these are water guns. These are e-blasters. So these are really cool. My favorite thing about them is the refill. So basically, I have this little bucket over here. If you press this button, this button it automatically refills. You can see it coming through here. Oh, yeah. So nothing manual. I just did it a little bit just for the purpose of this. Um, you could do it manual if you wanted. You could take this off and fill it up with a faucet or water bottle oh, or anything okay, like that. Okay. okay, hit those people behind you. Continuously. Yes, <laughs> exactly. It goes 35 feet. Oh, my God. Yeah. And, and about how long... <laughs> So there's a battery here. You're gonna to need to plug it into a USB. 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 Okay. Yep. Okay. okay. I'm not exactly sure how long it will last for okay. a battery. Okay. Any but idea how big the battery is? Like so it's uh this size. Right. Okay. Yeah. So I actually have a. <laughs> That's how big it is. About an inch. What the battery looks like. Oh my gosh. And that's where you charge it in the USB. Oh, okay. Oh, this is four batteries in here, right? Oh, yeah. This is just a, one of these. Oh, with one of these. Here. Oh, I see. Yes. Okay, okay. And that retails for? $19.99 at Target and Target.com. And then the bigger one is $29.99. And that's right now, too? I'm sorry? This is available now? Yep. Target and Target.com. Thank you. Thank you. We spray Dennis, but look at everybody win. That, that is awesome. That, that was very funny. I said, how big is the battery? Oh, it fits oh, it's about that bad. Yeah, it's not that bad. You can kind of see okay. it back here in the back of it. It doesn't take up that much uh, So it uses uh, a 18650 battery, and they range from uh, 3,000 megahertz, uh, megahertz <laughs> milli milliamps up to 35, and it should uh, shoot 25 feet. It's a 20 out capacity, and you can the, the airplane. It's 30 flights oh, on one charge. 30 charts. flights 30 on one charge, not 30 seconds. Said, no, 30. Yeah, well, the charge is 30 <laughs> seconds, and then she said it flew for two hours. I was gonna think that is one wow, efficient motor. That is impressive. I was thinking right. the same thing. Yeah. I was going. It must so be. Maybe, maybe 30 minutes of charge for a few hours of, like, yeah, playtime. I don't know how they were figuring it's that. It's 30 but. flights, depending on the flight time. And as she said, you can hit 15 seconds, 30 seconds, or just put it on go and let it run the battery out. But I don't know how far that would be. Yeah. Um, but I like that little auto-filling thing. I do, too. With, with the water gun. Definitely. That's definitely a bummer when you're... Uh doing your super soaker and you got to ah, let me refill yeah and that is called auto refill technology perfect <laughs> perfect that was a perfect layup auto refill technology love it auto okay. it's even there in the bullet points look at the highlights auto oh there you go yeah yep. refill there you go technology. oh and burst and single shots yeah, I saw that. So I've seen some other uh, similar, like, uh, gadget, you know, uh, things. And they typically like to shoot in, sh like, they always, on the packaging, it looks like a sphere of water coming through. Yeah. So single shot water. That's pretty cool. You know, you could buy both of them and shoot the airplane down with the water gun. <laughs> it's like a, a little, like, skeet shooting. Okay, Paul! <laughs> <laughs> I like it. I like it. Yeah. Uh, okay, well, with that, it is time to head to... Uh, but great toy... toy uh, it's not toy fair, 
but a very good toy show. You fun. have more yeah, yeah. for us? I have, I have one left over that I'll one do next over. week. Awesome, yeah. awesome. Yeah, no, that looked like a lot of fun. With that, let's move on to Chad's no, Crappy it, but you might Corner! Chad's Crappy Corner. Get it. Okie dokie. I'm going to be setting some stuff up behind the scenes over here, Ooh. but I recorded a video earlier, so let's check it out. Wow. Okay, so here we are, I'm back with it with another home office gadget. And when I think of the office, what do I think of? Of course, the water cooler that everyone hangs around and gossips about the whole office. But if you're at a home office, you got to think a bit differently with your water cooler and your home gossip. So here is the gadget for today. This is the Smart Desktop Water Bottle Dispenser. This is your very own water cooler in your <laughs> house. So let's go ahead and open it up. It's pretty simple. Um, it doesn't require any extra plumbing to be installed or anything like that. It is its own full gadget. Here is a uh, quick start guide. But inside you get a base. You get a charging cable with a USB-C port. Yay. You also get the spigot, which connects to the base. And you can see it's pretty simple there. You just go all spigot there. Looks like that connects there. And you also get this big old long tube. And the idea is that after you plug this in and uh, get it all hooked up, this tube can go into any type of water reservoir you want and you can pump your very own water. So we're going to get it all set up, make sure it's all plugged in, make sure it's all working, and then we will be right back. Okay, so we have it all kind of put together now and all the tape and stuff removed. So as you can see over here, this is the power port, just USB-C. You have a little water button and you have a light button. On the front, you have a power button and a play pause button. And then there's a display, and right now the display is showing, I get it's a blinking uh, battery icon is the current thing that it's showing right now. So the hope is that we can take this tube right here that just comes out of the back of the gadget, and we can put this into a water source. Now this could be, of course, filtered water. It could be you have a jug. It might even be a, a pitcher of Kool-Aid, whatever you want. Um, and hopefully, we will be able to, to turn this on and dispense the water. Now, right now there's air throughout the whole tube. So I wanna make sure to really kind of get the air to go through the tube to give a, a good uh, sort of representation of it. So I'm gonna follow the instructions here and they say press and hold for two seconds to turn it on. So one, two, okie dokie. Oh. Now we have a light, that's fantastic. Okay, the light key, short press to switch it. Okay, so that turns that on and off. Then the water level, short press to select uh, the required water amount. So it looks like we are selecting a certain water amount. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Then it goes to nine, nine, nine. And then it goes to dot, 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 which represents unlimited water. This is what uh, the dot, dot, dot means. So let's try one. I'm gonna hit the button one time. There oh it goes. It actually sucked the water all the way through. So the first time it had to kind of suck all the water through. So let's try it one more time and hit play. There you go. Honestly, it's kind of reminding me of almost like one ounce is what it's reminding me. So I'm going to guess that I have like about four more ounces to fill up. So I'm going to change the display here to four. I'm going to turn off that light just because it's kind of annoying. And then I'm going to hit the button once. If I had to guess, that would be about four ounces. Now, that is a complete... No, obviously, uh, it may uh, overflow uh, here. Uh, 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 I'm going uh, to uh, hit the button uh, just to stop it. So, I actually, I don't know exactly how long it would have filled. But as you can see, you can change it. So, it's, it kind of seems a bit arbitrary at the moment what these numbers mean. But obviously, I'd be able to test it and uh, figure out how much it would take to fill this one glass. So, you know, if I had a specific glass I was using over and over again, I could kind of find the spot. Not exactly perfect, uh, in my opinion. Also, this nightlight is a little funny. That is so bright when it's on. I think I would keep that off for sure. And then I'd have to find a good water setting to, uh, 
to set my water to. But if you're someone who needs a water cooler, you uh, want a filtered water under your desk with a tube running to it and just a plain old USB uh, power, so very simple. It does not come with a power brick. I'm currently using my own battery uh, to power it, but so you'll need to supply your own power brick, but it's just USB-C, so uh, pretty simple. All in all, honestly, I'm a little bit impressed. One little cor uh, correction also is that I thought this had to be plugged in. It, there's a little bat. There's a 2,000 milliamp hour battery in there. Yeah, I was going to say, there's a battery indicator. Yeah. Um, so we'll put this back to the 400 that we had it on. And I was looking at it from behind. So I, the chat room, I kind of agree with them that it may be milliliters. So maybe 400 milliliters. Oh, um, okay. Make a little bit more sense. So it's on 400 again. This is an empty glass. And you can now see uh, just about how much it fills up. And what's kind of cool is this one, this time I'm filling it up. No wires attached, right? Because I uh, unplugged the battery uh, part of it. That'd be fun at a picnic. Isn't that cool? People are asking, does it work with uh, spirits? Does it work with this? Does it work with that? Really, I think anything as long, I think carbonation may mess with it, but anything that is a flat liquid, this is 400, this is at 400. Seems about like 400 milliliters. That's a big old glass. Yeah, that's good. I'd say around eight or nine ounces of water would be my guess. Um, so yeah, I'm kind of weirdly like, this is neat. I could see having a, a gallon jug, a five, even a five gallon, you know, what you go buy a five gallon thing of water, stick this uh, nearby. Um, it, I have seen it auto turn off, so this is great for a boat. A great for or, a boat. Yeah, yeah. I I think that uh, I think it's kind of cool. I like it. So the smart table water dispenser is uh, what it is, and it's not too expensive either. Of course, uh, it's twenty bucks. Um, but if you're a Prime member, you can get them for only ten. Look at that. Um, so join it, and you, it's only ten bucks. So uh, I think that this is a very nice little ten dollar um, gadget. I think it's uh, I think it's perfect. So I don't know. Ooh. No, I think it's great. I like it too. <laughs> uh, let's see. What does the chat room think? Um, it does not chill any water. So technically, I guess it is not. I, I was misspeaking when I said it's a water cooler. It's really just a water dispenser, but. I think you got my j joke. Was it was water? Yeah, no, I think that. Bit. No, I think it's it's fun for a kid's party. You can play with it and yes. pour your own drink. I think it's very cute. Yes, I like it. I like it. Okie dokie. Well, that wraps it up for Chad's Crappy Corner. Thank you to all the patrons uh, for voting on that. Um, and let's head on over to Dick's Gadget Warehouse. <laughs> They're geeky and they're goofy, together they are loopy, when gadgets pass away, he takes them out to play, in this gadget warehouse. Oh, on. Okay, we did this during CES, and I thought it'd be fun to do it here. I went back through my files, and I found a video that we did at Toy Fair 2020. And these guys had this great kit. We'll show the video. And I have not gone to their website to see. It was a product introduction if this product ever got into the marketplace. <laughs> Did it <Okay>. get introduced? <laughs> it, they, yes. It's, it's pretty, the I, think it's, I think it's pretty neat. So here's the video from exactly four years ago this week. Okay, Toy Fair 2020 looking for geeky things. We found Geek Club. You don't have to join the club, but they have some really neat gadgets. They were on Kickstarter. They raised $137,370. Wow. And the kit is amazing. We're going to have our camera guy show you the box. So with that box, you can build... Uh, you can build seven different type of robots. So like, for example, uh, this, this kit, like, for example, this kit, this kit you can build these tiny robots with it so you have like a different type of robot so this one is a smart guys so it's a bit the same type as this one so this one is like a light chaser so you see it will uh, it will uh, follow the light you know so this is like a, a tiny smart robot okay. that is very clever 
yeah. uh, uh, second person taking over. Yeah, and let me tell you about the kit. So it comes with a 10 PCB boards, with a USB soldering stick and with a USB drill. So you have, and with lots of components, so you have everything to build the seven robots. E even safety glasses? Yeah, even safety glasses. You know, we care about it very much. So, and also you will get the educational video and printed instructions so that everything will go very easy. And what does the kit retail for? It's it's for in retail for only one hundred and nine dollars. One hundred and nine U.S. dollars. Yeah, exactly. I think that's very clever. And there's an educational video in there to tell yes. people how to do things. Yeah, right. Okay. And uh, batteries, you supply them your own, or batteries in the kit? No, because it will be difficult with the shipping, so you'll have to buy separate. But they're very very common battery batteries. Are they the twenty thirty twos? Yeah. Exactly. We use so many 2032s, we buy them by the gross. And also, <laughs> the tools, the, also the tools go with USB plugs, so you can plug it on your computer or on a battery pack, so meaning you can do it everywhere you want. So. And finally, are they available now? They, they are available right now on Indiegogo for pre-orders, but they will be in retail in two months, in April, mid-April. Okay, and you, uh, are you geekclub.com? Yeah, we are geekclub.com. What a professional. Bye. Okie dokie. Okay, now mm. people are saying I went to Geek Club, still around, but it's Geek. I said to him, how did you ever get Geek? And then I realized it's three G's in there. It's oh. G-E-E-E-K. All right, so chat room, a lot of people think. You know what? I think they changed their name. Oh, did they? I think they did. They realized nobody was finding them. Because if I hear, let's, uh, new tab, let's, let's see, G-E-E-E-K club.com. And this is weird. It, live on Indiegogo, featured in Hacker and Gizmodo. But if you go to geekclub.com with just two E's, that looks very familiar. It does. It seems like they have a dead website with the three E's. They changed their name to two E's wow. and kept going. <laughs> Boy, the fact that they could get geek works. Geekclub.com just straight up is impressive. Wow. But it looks wow. like they've come out with a whole bunch of things. They have a space line, nanobots, cyberpunk, five skills. The quick one of the buy now is just to make sure. Yeah, they... here, let's try the nanobots since we saw that. Uh, okay, all yeah. right. Looks like it's possible. It looks like. Look, they're still doing the same thing with all the crazy soldering and tools. Yeah, no, this this is definitely. Oh, you know what? <clears throat> the boxes have the three E's. Oh my gosh, you're D right. Just go, just go. <laughs> oh, isn't that fascinating? That is so funny. You know what? Geek uh, tools. Yeah, it looks like they did a rebrand. And not everything yes, is quite yes. rebranded. But they should definitely forward the 3 egeekclubcom to the new website. That's definitely... Absolutely. How stupid. How stupid. <laughs> That's a misstep. That's what we call mismanagement, folks. They should definitely be doing that. Um, oh, Becky said there are no dates on the reviews... Uh, it looks like Eric Duckman, Eric Duckman is making a joke. 100000 of the $135,000 that they've got on Kickstarter went to buying the domain name. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that could be. That could be. But wow. they are still around. Congrats That's to them. Great. It, still like, That's... it looks like they've expanded their uh, gadgets. I love this uh, five skills. I love the branding on it, at least. It looks so kitty and fun. Oh, this looks good. DIY electronic 3D puzzle. That looks so cool. Yeah. I think it is is that their original ones, the boxes may have been printed already. Yeah. And now the newer ones <laughs> is going down to the two E's. Yes. Yes. Much smarter on their part. Well, congrats. It does still exist. Wow. That's great. It's great fun. It was it great, great fun. fun finding that. Okie dokie. Well, with that, let's move on to the letter. Become the letters. Your lovely letters. Become the kids' letters now. Now. 
And our letter is, I believe he's in chat, is from Steve D., who said, I'm sure you have watched the Amazon deals people on Instagram. Actually, I haven't. Um, They talk about discounts. I got the label printer from one of them. It arrived an hour ago. I haven't opened it yet, but I'll try to make a warehouse foghorn video. The woman today mentioned free products. Yes, they are free, but look at the shipping costs. And he sent a picture. Okay, so it looks like we're getting a $0 (laughs) dash cam, but a $20.99 standard shipping fee or a $80. And look at the order summary, Chad. Yeah. The item is $529. Yeah. That's crazy. Promotion, promotion, promotion. And somehow... It still is 58 bucks. It's 58 bucks. Yeah. So their free robot cost them $31 in shipping. And their free dash cam cost them at least $21 in shipping. Hmm. And some, how did they get to $58? Oh, oh. You know what? That is a good question. Is tax? I guess you get taxed on you get taxed on shipping. I didn't know that. It looks like it. Where's this five dollars of tax coming from? I'm not sure how that uh, works God, out or where they're located, but uh, it looks like they're getting five bucks of tax plus the added shipping. Ugh. That makes it's you second weird. guess your free gadgets. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit yes. of sticker shock with my check, free gadgets. Yes. Check very, very carefully. What happened uh, to, you know, free two-day shipping, Amazon? Hmm? Hmm? Yeah, exactly. And Steve D. Ed, thanks, uh, Chicken Chad, for everything you guys do. Wow. Thank wow. you. Oh, of course, Steve D. Thank you, thank you, thank you. That is so nice. Um... So I haven't seen the Amazon sellers that are being... No, I haven't either on Instagram. Yeah, but But. I guess that they're showing these deals where you get it discounted to zero dollars because of all the promotions they have. That is so interesting. Oh, you know what? Your your last week's gadget, Simpson Rachel said, is part of... Oh, look at that! Oh! There we are. Very similar, extremely similar. Yes, but they don't mention that if you're a Prime member, it's only ten bucks. Yeah, it's just free free returns. Yeah, that that other one was ten bucks. Oh, so, so they have a different way to fill it up. You can just kind of see the display and oh, where I have yeah. a digital. Oh yeah, and readout. also they took the light out. I don't know why you need that light. Yeah, I can The only th- possible thing I can re- think of is like. At night, I'm ready to get a glass of water, and I just need a night light to th- every night. Oh, you know, I don't maybe, know. Maybe, maybe, <laughs> it maybe. seems like a strange addition um, to have it be uh, a. Br- I mean, that thing was bright. Anyway, that's cool. That's cool, Sims Rachel. Thanks for yeah. letting me know that. No, and also I like that uh, your little device on the desk there can pull water out of something that's on the same level. A lot of times. Oh, true. You know, that, you get a cheap pump and it says, make sure the fluid you are uh, pulling from is above the pump. And here, can, can it pull it from way oh, down let's there? Try this. I want to get it down to just one so I don't accidentally. Wow. Oh, I, oh. <gasps> oh it has sucked it, the tube. Oh, it ran out of fluid. No, the tube no. collapsed. Oh. Wait a second here. I think I need a stronger tube. What's happening is, from my perspective, I can easily see it's sucking so strong that this tube is just... Oh, oh, okay. And it's on the floor here. It seems there's nothing's kinking it or anything. So, yeah, maybe it isn't strong enough to pull off of the floor. Oh, no. They need to ship a stronger tube because it seems like it would work as the tube was just a bit more uh, sturdy. That is interesting. Interesting! Okay, well, I'm a little suspicious of how good this gadget is now. (laughs) Um, 
Thank you for that email, Steve D. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Also, big thank you to our patrons over at patreon.com slash gizwiz. Thank you guys so, so, so much for your support. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for supporting our show. If you like the Gizwiz, please consider giving back at gizwiz.tv. Click on the Patreon tab at the top of our website, and there'll be a big old Patreon banner there to take you to our Patreon page where you can support or... There's a PayPal link on that page as well if you want to support via PayPal. Uh, head over to gizwiz.tv. That's where you can watch the show live just about every Thursday, 4.30 Pacific, 7.30 Eastern Time, whenever we're live. The website will just update with the live stream, and you can join the chat room and chat along with everybody there. If you don't catch the show live, our show will be recorded and put up on our website after the fact. Once again, that is gizwiz.tv. TV. Head over to gizwiz.biz, that's Dickie D's website where he writes articles about every gadget that we talk about on the show. Remember those electronic hand warmers? I do. <clears throat> that was last week. Go find out about it at gizwiz.biz. Also, while you're there, look at the what the heck is it game. This is an entire mm-hmm. gadget that you gotta guess what it is. And uh, this was... A little-known culinary fad for a little while, um, crystal eggs. Yes, the crystal healing movement even applied to your standard egg. And those are a pair of crystal (laughs) eggs. So if you think you know what those are, get a guess in gizwiz.biz. Six mad magazines for correct answers, 12 mad magazines for funny, clever, or hilarious answers. So get a guess in over at gizwiz.biz. Bez! With that, it, that wraps up our show. We'll see you next week. I'll be here. Uh, all right, titles. Mm, title. Crack me up. Mad Meta Scientist. Uh, that kind of was a fast show. We, we went through the show. Mm-mm-mm. Thirsty. Don't toy with us. Don't toy with us. Deep voice. Dick. Geeky git. <laughs> <Chance cover. laughs> How about don't toy with us? I like that one. Okay, that's good. Okay. Thanks, Martron. Capitalize. Mm-mm-mm. And three, two. It's time for the Gizwiz with Mads Mattis writer, Dick D. Bartolo. This is episode 1980, recorded Thursday, March 21st, 2024. Don't toy with us. And a photo? I'll just hold the glass <laughs> like you filled it. Oh. <laughs> okay. Thank Luckily, God it was, it was mostly, pretty, empty. Yeah, mostly empty. That's the last of it. <laughs> that would have been bad. In three, two, one. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Okie dokie. That was fun. That was great. Chat room, thank you. See you Wednesday for the fizz. Hope your voice gets better. Yeah, it's, it's got to in a week. Yeah, yeah. I hope so. Either that <laughs> or you got say, a time to go if, see a doctor. If you pull water from Dick's glass, that would be magic. <laughs> <laughs> That's the 2.0. That's the... Uh, yeah, uh, the next one. The yeah, next the next one. one. I have lost my mouse cursor. And there it is. Oh, that's it. Now reverse it. Put the water back in the bottle. Oh, I yeah, know. I will. I will over the sink. I think. Doesn't have reverse. All right, chat room. This is great fun. Chat, I'll see you next week. Yeah, see you next <coughs> week. Bye, everybody. Uh, oh, chat the- room. Uh, I'm on uh, Ask the Tech Guys uh, this Sunday at 3 East Coast, noon Pacific. See you there. Okay. Bye, everyone. Bye, Bye everybody. Thanks.